become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here have a look at this i mean you if you don't know what that is i'll tell you right now that's a sit sand well sandal system of physical training in hardcover two original hardcover uh, books I believe this is the absolute first edition and this is a subsequent edition uh, yeah I, whenever I look at these books I just you know I, I'm pondering over them I'm yeah you can tell I'm already so excited about this stuff and this is the stuff that really excites me um, Sandow system of physical training probably one of the most famous uh, historical books on physical culture San, uh, Eugene Sandow's very first book, very first writings, which really uh, proliferated the use of the light dumbbell system and really made, you could say, not just physical culture, but bodybuilding. Um, it, it really started raising the awareness of physical culture and bodybuilding. Uh, in, many, in many respects, one could say that Sandow truly was the first bodybuilder and uh after his shows after his uh advert he, yeah his intense advertisement and, and, and all the stuff he was basically uh, doing back then we're talking about shows we're talking about uh, traveling all over the world and talking about um physical training he really increased the awareness of physical culture and it really started to boom during that time and one can see that in, for example, the fact that these books are still available. I mean, you can you can find them if you do your research. You can find them. They are quite expensive, of course, uh, because they are considered antiques. And, um, of course, the book is still available uh, in reprinted format by many uh, websites, including my own. I have um, a scan book of it available. If you haven't picked it up yet, you can find it on my website. Uh, yeah, but let's get to the comparison. I want I want to just show you these books because a lot of you may have may have don't only seen images of the covers themselves, but never had a look inside. Those of you that are aware that I'm selling the book on my website may not be aware of what you can find inside. So let's have a look. Firstly, I'll go through the very first edition, which is um, you know, in a very delicate form. Unfortunately, there's, there is a little bit of scribble found within the book. It's, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, I mean, these books were so well laid out. Got some wonderful photos here of Eugene Sandow. And uh, it start off, starts off with Sandow on physical training. Now, I can't go through the whole book in too much detail because it's about 250 pages long. But as you can see, the, uh, the book is so well preserved. I mean, not the spine. But the, the pages themselves, because they're thick pages, beautifully printed, illustrated throughout, beautifully, right? And of course, the, the beginning of the book talks about Eugene Sandow's uh, biography, his great uh, feats of strength, his wrestling matches, etc. Uh, it's all here. I have to admit, some of these things I've never seen before. Wow, I mean, look at this uh, image of Eugene Sandow here on the Roman column right lifting what appears to be 1500 pounds i don't know whether that's even humanly possible or just a legend but um yeah essentially i have read the book of course um i also want to be talking about it yeah that's the roman column that's amazing. the reason why i got these really early editions is because i've never seen them before and, and like every new edition you or, or every edition out there there's always something new to find in these books and so i'm actually just going through right now learning a lot myself just i've never seen those images of of the roman column i've seen images of this before um i know that other strongmen perform these acts balancing weights on their chins etc but you, can, you get an idea of of um through these drawings of what kind of acts uh sandow and, and the rest of the strongmen back then did right here we go indian clubs that's interesting so he must have done some club training too there's the indian club right yeah there was a lot of crossover in physical culture back then and the methods taught etc here we've got some some uh 
ring weights as they're called. Again, the, the Roman column. Oh, here's the infamous story of someone that actually um, uh, was uh, pissed Sandow off, and he just grabbed him and threw him on the on the uh, pool table without any hesitation. <laughs> That's how strong he was. Um, some really crazy stories I found within these books. Yeah, some of the pages are unfortunately loose. Here's one of them. It's a, sh it's a real shame. These books really deserve better care. And I hope to provide that better care myself. <laughs> Here we have, um, at the end of course, of the book, Eugene Sandow's System of Physical Training. These very famous photos you can find online, many of them. Uh, beautiful photos of, of Sandow performing the light dumbbell system. And uh, later on performing feats of strength, right? That's the light dumbbell system explained. He talks about his apparatus, which he invented. Essentially, it's like a, a cable station that allows him to train his legs, arms, uh, chest, as you can see, everything really. And then he goes through um, the uh, odd lifts, right? Lifting with uh, one hand, so dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, the works, right? Uh, it's a fantastic, uh, the, the second part of the of the book is truly fantastic in that he really teaches you how to train like a strong man, right? These lifts are not performed anymore. And of course, he goes through bodybuilding, his uh, success stories with, with his uh, students, etc. It's it's really a great, great read. Uh, and he even goes through some strong man acts, right? How to perform them. How to perform, for example, the harness lift, right? Things like that. It's a yeah, brilliant book. Brilliant book. That's um, Sandow's System of Physical Training. Oh man, this book is in tatters. I have to be very, very careful with these books. And I just want to quickly compare it now with the other edition that I've got. I believe this is the first edition, and this must be a second or third edition of the book. Let's find out. It doesn't actually really state that in here, from what I understand. Not that I could see when I quickly had a peek earlier. No, it doesn't really say that. But you can already see that the photos are different. Uh, the layout is different. It may have just been another... It's just a, to me, it's just another edition. But you can see the book is smaller now. More pocket-sized. Maybe this <laughs> first edition here was more like a Bible. Way too big for people to carry around. And so, yeah, it's funny because... Sandow's subsequent books are all small, almost like pocket guides, right? And I'm assuming a lot of people must have been intimidated by purchasing such large books, and maybe he came out with smaller books, also for the convenience of being able to carry these books around. But you can see that these, this particular book is not as illustrated as, as much as the other one. As I was saying, the, the, uh, this book in particular is not as illustrated as the other one. And unfortunately, it's also very, very damaged. So I have to take very uh, good care of these books now. Um, yeah. You'll find that a lot of the images in these books are quite similar to um, the original edition. And um, But yeah, I, I find it really sad, for example, that many of the images that you would find on the sides are now gone. And uh, for me as a collector, this is why it's so important to get different editions of the same book because you always find different things and it's also important for me to show you uh, the different editions so that you understand that some information may be lost with different editions as well and this is exactly why I like also um, now I want to start offering the different editions on my website as well simply because um, there is information that can be lost and some information that can be improved on uh, yes, yeah, so anyway, that's that's kind of a reason why I like getting different editions. It's not just a hoarding thing. It's a, literally about, yeah, uh, preserving the, the information that's found. I find that all editions have some, some value in them. Anyway, as we go through the book, yeah, it's not as illustrated as before. It's, it's, a, it's a real shame. There's much less illustrations. And just like the, the, the first edition, it go, has an anatomical, uh, anatomical chart, goes through the, the anatomical system uh, to really, uh, you know, Sandow was all about educating the, uh, the student, 
prior to doing the the light dumbbell system and then of course he goes through the light dumbbell system as before and of course uh, then through more advanced exercises such as um, one-handed lifts uh, etc and then of course I'm assuming as well uh, teaching the student about strongman acts just like before just like before and you can really do see the difference between these books is the size the lack of illustrations um, a bit bit of a shame really I have to admit a, re a real shame but now I'm glad that I at least own the very first edition because I don't necessarily lose on that extra information or illustrations I do hope you have enjoyed looking at these very rare editions hardcover books uh, of Sandow's system of physical training if you have please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era book home leave me your comments and thank you for watching and of course this book is available on my website at least this edition is available uh, I've got the the cover is blue and it's available on my website um, www.goldenerabookham.com in time maybe I will have to scan this one for you with the for those history buffs that want to have all those extra um, images that you don't find here yeah, there might be some differences in, in writing too. I don't know. I haven't actually compared them correctly. Uh, but yeah, you'll find Sandel's book uh, on physical training. So the system of physical training as well as strength and how to obtain it. And many other books from Sandel on my website. If you want to support my research and my acquisition of rare materials such as this, please donate via PayPal. Become a patron. Again, visit my website for how to print books and courses. And contact me if you wish to pass on your literature or bodybuilding relics from the past. That's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvellous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.